I don't know. You ask me. And they a, just clear the plates at the end of the meal. The Beatles they? tribute band as well. Uh-huh. So uh, now I'd like to welcome our guest, the uh, legendary hmm. Ralph Peduto. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> legendary. Thank you, Chip. Hi, Ralph. Pleasure Have to you be achieved here. legendary status? Pleasure to be here, Chip. Congratulations. Yes, in, my, in my book, absolutely. Thanks Thank for being you. here, Ralph. Hey, we've um, been two, two we questions. worked together. We worked together. We have. We've worked together. And before. we worked together. You, you lit one of my shows. That's true. I did. Tinseltown. But you, naked. You, you butt lit, naked in Tinseltown. You lit butt naked? I lit butt naked. I produced butt naked. No, no, no. He didn't lit. He lit, uh, I lit the Sex Sacrilege and Scandal. Really? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first one. The first one with Bonnie okay. Ronzio. You right. know, that show, that was not only an outstanding show just because of the content and the acting, but the lighting on the that lighting show. The lighting was excellent. Uh, we, we, got, we got an award Reviews. for lighting. Yeah, wow. yeah. A Tony, a wasn't it? Huh? A Tony? Oh, I think it was a phony. A phony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know what the hell we're talking about, these are shows that you wrote uh, and produced uh, based on your experiences yes. in Hollywood yeah. and acting and so forth, right? One-man yeah. shows. Right. Yeah, those were a lot of fun. And you produced one. I got to be a part of one of them a couple years ago. But Naked. But Naked in Tinseltown. That was a lot of fun. That was fun. Uh, at the Actors Theater. So I have a couple questions for you. One, how did you like our musical performance? You know, I really thought of I, I I'm yeah. a little deaf. It sounded great. You're a little deaf? I think so, good. because it sounded pretty good. Uh, yeah. Right. The drum, you I must liked be the deaf. drum. I really did. I mean, you, you always, it was hard. It's all about the I drum. liked the way you were looking for the key. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you're looking for. It you want to know? Matter. Matter. It's kind of like Millie Vanilli. I was just faking it. <laughs> Jesse was doing all she the work. She was doing and, the work. She was doing the work on and, that one. But the one. drummer was good. You know, I, I like that one. Uh, do. When you, you like did that, went, when you went forward. When I, went, I do, I went forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I made that move that, up. That, to me, that said pro. That's trademark. That's called a Danelle. Trademark. That's called that's a Danelle. Danelle. <laughs> yeah, that's a Danelle. Right. Uh, and the second question, you ever go to the county fair? I think I went there many, many years ago. Really you don't know what you're missing. I went there many years. I like the way you're, you're a 4-H expert. I think mm-hmm. that's really great. Mm-hmm. And you ask some profound questions. Thank you. I like that little girl, the way she was. She had so much to say. I bet it made you nervous when you knew you were about to come out here. Like, how am I going to face these questions, this interrogation? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just, it's just uh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. Well. <laughs> no, it's really? I, I know you two guys. You're okay, oh, you right? I think you do. You're okay, right? Yeah. We're okay. Well, are we live? No, yeah, I don't do anything live. No, this isn't live. <laughs> We're live. It's We're a, I'm, a, I'm a film actor. Nobody watches this show. We'll make this funny in post. <laughs> can, I, can we take that shot again, that scene? <laughs> um, again? Take two. So uh, what have you been up to these days? I hear you're part of a big old project. Oh, here. yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was really nice. It was um, this guy, John Kim. Mm-hmm. He's the director of, I think he's from um, Up Silicon Valley. Yeah, Bay Area somewhere. Right? Bay Area, and he brought up these actors from L.A., and it was a, it was a SAG, ultra-low-budget, Screen Actor Guild, ultra-low-budget contract. And, and I was really, you know, they were young actors, but they were really, they were pumping, man. And the best compliment I could give these guys was that they worked really hard. They were hard-working actors. Mm-hmm. It, was, it, was, it was a pleasure to work with them. What and was, with John, too. What was this? This was a movie. This was a film. The movie, yeah. Called Blur. Blur. That has been getting some press lately. They shot here. And it was shot all in Santa Cruz? All in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Primarily, yeah. Uh, they, they set up over at the Digital Media Factory on the west side, and it was, I think, right. one of the biggest projects they've taken on so far. And mm-hmm. uh, actually, how, how long were they in production here? Uh, about four or five weeks. They're really tight. They're really tight. Yeah. And, uh, and this is a professor of... Or something. That's what he is, right? The, the director and writer. Yeah. Uh, I, up, I think he teaches film. Yeah, up in Peter Dino, up South Bay Area, something like that. Okay, <laughs> he hasn't been listening. <laughs> I've been listening. Not that good. So he, uh, is anybody listening? Huh? Danza. 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 Is he teaches Danza? Okay. He was on, get a shot of this guy. This guy was working like crazy. Who's this guy? This guy, oh. he was he was pulling yeah. he was oh. pulling the he was pulling uh, yeah, we can't get it we can't get it he's in the dark <laughs> pulling he was pulling K you he, were was, he was he was a camera assistant right yeah. camera assistant yep and Dollar Dollar. Yeah. so the lead actor in this film was Charlie Hoffheimer yeah and uh, some of you may know Good him kid. so I met I went and stopped by the shoot one day because I was going to take, take take some footage. And I, I met him, and I realized, oh, this, this is who this guy is. And then I, I went home later that day. I was flipping through the channels, and I literally came across him twice on the TV. Once, uh, he was in a movie called Father's Day. Yeah, he was just... Uh, with Robin Williams and Billy Crystal. He was in Music of My Heart with Meryl Streep. And he was in M. Night Shyamalan's The Village. Right. He, he played the, the, he cop, was the, the cop, cop. He was the cop 
who helps her when she jumps over the fence. Yeah, at the end, he walks up and helps her. He helps, he takes her to the, and gets her all yeah. medication. And, right, right, right. Yeah. Anyway, young, talented guy. So what are Very you doing talented. on the show? Who, yeah. who are you? I'm in, the third, I'm the third lead and, uh, I'm the, I'm the, uh, I'm a detective who's, could be up to no good. Could, could be. be. Could be. I'm not gonna give it away. Well tell us the, the basic setup of the film. What's the film about? It's a Hitchcock type film. Mm -hmm. A little film noir, a little Hitchcock. You don't know who's doing what, when they're doing it, you know, and you think, you think maybe it's happening. And so you're never really sure, so I can't say anything more. You think maybe it's happening? Right. Is it really happening? Well, you know, uh, we you don't know. See. Does anything? It's, it's kind of like uh, it's like that guy M Night. Sh how do you pronounce his name? M Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. It's like kind of like that. At the That's end, is that Shyamalan? Yeah. It's like his. Uh, you're going to get an end hit with an ending, and, and okay, now I can't I, give it away. I will say though that M Night Shyamalan has been going downhill. He started with M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense, Wasn't then he, he followed great? that up with M. Night Shyamalan's Unbreakable, then he followed Unbreakable that up with Unbreakable, sorry, yeah. Oh, this one, have you seen, uh, um, not The Village, The Current, Lady in the Water? I wasn't happy with, uh, oh, you know, the, I shouldn't, you know, you try to make a movie, I can't put it down, you know. You just, can, you can yeah, on this no, show. Yeah, no, no, That's no, the no. next show, actually. This is, I think that M. Night Shyamalan literally just, like, someone walks up to him and goes, okay, like, for instance, Lady in the Water, someone... Gave him a piece of paper and said, "Okay, you got a, you got a, you got a, a sea nymph, you got a, a, a flying eagle, you got some uh, forest monkeys, and you got a swimming pool. Make it happen. <laughs> Tie all these elements together. Make a movie. Like just random crap thrown together for no reason." Jeff, did you see that piece on the fair? Yeah, it's great. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got to do. You gotta see, just man, that piece on the kids? fair was. But that's right. <laughs> It's so hard to do these things, you know? It's not easy. Any movie, any movie easy. that anybody makes, no, it's just it's it's true. true. It's, it's true. The amazing. insight that I, had, that I had to capture that pig on camera going to the bathroom, that's, you can't write that stuff. Who was the yeah, last, is that a pig either. going to the bathroom at the end? Yeah, at the beginning, yeah. The one that was laying down. No, he wasn't going to the bathroom. Was that a dead thing? He was alive. He was dreaming about going to the bathroom. I had no idea we what that was. We should go to the fair. Well, you know what we should go? We should go to Dancing Man. Burning Dancing Man. man. Burning Man. Burning Man. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing Man used to be around the corner. Dancing Man. Dancing man. Yeah. We should go there. Yeah. Are they we'll still there? Everywhere. Are they still there? No, they're gone. I think they're gone. There's no art. Burning Man. No we can get the ashes now. We can get the ashes. So we should go to Burning Man because I want to compare. You were at Woodstock. Yes, it was. You you met your wife there, didn't you? No, we uh, we we met. You and met then we somebody's went, wife. We met a couple of weeks before, and we got some <laughs> tickets, and we said, let's go. We went to Woodstock. Really? Yeah. Really? So I were you guys already romantically involved at that point? Hey, well, we're live here. It's Give me a, a fair break. question. Oh, romantically involved. Yeah, we were like we were dating. We were dating. It was the free love. You're then still dating. The free, and then then Woodstock solidified it. Yeah. Woodstock solidified yeah. it. And now your grandparents, and you should That's be going right. to Burning Man. Which so reminds me. So I'm doing the scene. So I'm making all these changes in this movie Blur. I'm making all these wardrobe changes. Yeah. And so I said to my wife, "How the hell are they going to recognize me?" She said, "You're the only one in the movie with gray hair." Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, yeah, right. 